Hey guys, it's Skatergamer here, and welcome back to Pikmin. I got some pretty good progress uh, last episode, so uh, I'm hoping this episode uh, will go just as good. And uh, I don't screw anything up, because I did that a lot of my practice file. So I'm going to start by going back down to that area with the fiery blowhogs, because there's still one there. Um, that also has a Mollywog nearby, so I'm gonna have to go get rid of that. Go to it first. Oh wow, okay. Um... Call everybody, call everybody. There we go, that worked. I might also get a start on this. There's a boss down here. Uh, I'm gonna need on my red picking for. Stop carrying it back. Oh, wow, okay, no. You need to carry that back. I might actually call these guys off because the bed bug is gonna go grab one of them. Yes, haha. There you go, that's how you get rid of the bed bug early on. Alright, the bread bug has a part in it! The space float! This float is an absolute necessity for any pilot who lacks skill at swimming in space. That is a lot of red pigment, so I should be able to do the mushroom thing. I don't even know what it's called. No! No, are there sheer leaks here? Or am I good? I reckon I'm good. Nice, done. The Omega Stabilizer. I <laughs> 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 absolutely must have this piece if my battleship is to ever fly straight again. It has steered me through countless deep space storms. That in it looks rather cool. There we go. Oh. Whoops. That was a big whoops. Oh, I'm gonna have to go heal myself now because um, that's not good. Now do not call them because that's what Blew everyone up last time. Throw them all up over here. And run into them. No, I don't even care. Let's uh let's do that. That'll Oh my gears. That didn't even take it down completely. I just lost 20 pigment for nothing. Oh well. Okay, what? Where were you? I put all my red pigment away. The pigment that I did not bring back to the onion all vanished overnight. It may well be that they have fallen prey to the planet's nocturnal creatures. An ugly thought. Perhaps that is why they follow me into the atmosphere. I'm starting to grasp the cycles of life on this planet. So, um, bomb rocks. That's the first thing I need to do today. The guard satellite, deep space is filled with dangers. This automated satellite does its part to help guard both me and my spaceship. I'll sleep better at night once this little satellite is back on duty. Oh my 
gosh! <laughs> Did you just say that? Oh my, the animation just completely broke. What the heck? <laughs> Oh, you're kidding me, right? Well, at least I can take down this bridge that's over here and get it started. Oh, it's red. Oh, well. Because this will take some time as well. Was there, like, a bridge over here or anything? No, 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 it's good. Come on. Not quite gonna get it done. No! 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 I hate it when Pikmin do that. Like sometimes they can have a mind of their own, and they're just going to do their own thing. I literally called them all off the bridge, and then half of them went back to building the bridge with two seconds of my sunset counter left. Oh horrors, a bomb rock explosion engulfed my Pikmin. That it did. That horrified facial expression is burned into my memory. I must review my procedures for handling Pikmin with bomb rocks so that I do not repeat this mistake. My face cam has not been recording this whole time. It's done this again. My computer's full. I need to check this before I actually start recording, seriously. That's gonna take nine minutes, so uh... I'm gonna keep playing. Oh, I must have sprouted somewhere. Yeah, alright. Uh, let me go. Let me go get those sprouts. Yellow Pikmin, I'm guessing, yeah. And they're all flowers! How nice of you. Basically, what these sprouts mean if um, your Pikmin die and they, they're flowers, another thing that flower Pikmin do is they actually, like, plant seeds. So all these sprouts are actually um, from flower Pikmin that have died and I don't need to do that because I have like all flowers with me at the moment. So I'm going to need to do this. All good. Perfect Dimundo. If I walk back here I'll probably split you up again just to make it easier. And yellows. I think it's 25. <laughs> the Libra, my daughter gave this to me. It's named after her astrological sign. My sweet little girl, I wonder what she's doing right at this moment. Blink! What? Okay. Blink. And now I can chuck red Pikmin on that because they've got to walk through the fire. Blue Pikmin. I'm going to need you to carry this part out of the water. Analog computer. This computer conveys the kind of vague data that falls outside the range of ones and zeros. Actually, to be honest, it's a little bit too vague, so it isn't very helpful. And it's 20, so I'm a few red Pikmin short, I think. <clears throat> I hope not. So everybody, you can get onto this. And that's this little area done. Uh... Yellow Pikmin are done. All I need are blues now. And then the forest navel is finished. I'm so annoyed though. I have technical issues for literally everything. And I don't have a lot of space on my computers, so that doesn't help either. Now this bit is gonna be fine. I'm gonna lead this Wally Wog away from the other one. Yeah, over here. Thank you. We did that at the last chance, I'm gonna go clearly now. Ooh. 
Okay, only three Pikmin died. That's actually kind of good. Right, I think this requires 50. The anti-dioxin filter. This fits over the rocket's exhaust ports and filters out all disease causing agents from the ship's exhaust. That means I'll be able to move around without polluting the planet's atmosphere. I feel worlds better. No, it's only 40. Right. Gonna get 40 on that. Um, and I'm going to get to work on this little bridge here. Now I have to go around and take down this other bridge. Mm. The gravity jumper. By manipulating the forces of gravity, this key component gives me the final boost I need to make the jump to super light speed. Good thing I found it. No, you are not carrying that yet. This is the last part to get. And I don't think I'm going to have time to take it back, so I'm going to have to waste a whole day by taking it back. <laughs> Quick, go, 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 go. Everybody on it. Everybody, as many as you can. Right. The limit is 45, and I thought I almost caught everybody off it, but I didn't, so that's good. Why are you going that way? Oh, they go the shortest way, but this is blocked. So they then turn around the other way. I don't know why you can't go around that way. Catch up, boy. Almost got it guys, come on. No, they still got a lot of ground to make up. That is a big rip. <laughs> I've managed to increase the range of the dolphin. Looking from the dolphin's portal as it launches over higher into the sky, I see a vast wetland in the deepest parts of the forest. I shall call it the distant spring. I can begin my exploration of it tomorrow, for now I must sleep. Well, I'm not going to do that, because I need to get that last part from flippin' Forest Naval, which I will do right now. Right, so, the Pikmin I need to grow today are blue and yellow. So, I'll grow as many Pikmin as I can. Alright, let's, uh, let's see what there is that we can use to grow our Pikmin with. I feel like it's literally just going to be these pellets that are lying around. Alright, let's have a little look around. There are... No, don't do that! Those are two p pellets less. Um, are there any more shearwigs? No. There's literally nothing left here for me to do. Except wait half the day for the posies to the pellets to spring out. Well I got that one so I can use the blues for that one. Other than that now I'm just uh waiting for the pellets to sprout. Oh shoewigs Yes there we go I feel like the, yellow, the blue Pikmin got all of them. I hope not. Otherwise I'm not going to be too happy. Come on, grow! Grow! When I take all these back, now the day is going to be done. Because literally growing Pikmin is all I had to do today. Literally half the day was just waiting. Alright. Well, that's the end of that day. I've seen that at times the leaf atop of Pikmin's head will grow into a bud and then a flower. It appears that if I do not pick the Pikmin sprouts, they gradually bloom over time. Fascinating! This melding of plant and animal traits is surely unique in the natural world. I found the increased swiftness of the flower Pikmin to be of tremendous benefit. 
Also, my diligent observation has recorded instances in which flower Pikmin lost in battle have left seeds behind. This is why in days after fierce battles I occasionally grow find new sprouts growing. Rightio, well, um, that's episode, that's episode two, and I've already finished Forest Naval. It took me four episodes to finish Forest Naval in my practice run. I'm doing really well for time here. Again, I know where everything is now, because I've already been through the whole game. Well guys, if you enjoyed that epi this episode, don't forget to like and subscribe if you already haven't done so. This next episode, I'm going to try and finish Impact Site and the Forest of Hope. And then the episode after, I'm going to aim to do the Distant Spring. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to go now. Bye!